All right, so the dogs are back out here with me. They saw me coming, they barked, they came running. They were so excited to see me. <laughs> so now they are on this hike with me. And I'm only gonna hike up in these hills for a short time today because I wanna make this hike a little bit longer just in distance of being on my feet. So I'm actually gonna hike down and then go to the ring road. And I might hike all the way or walk all the way down to the gym and then come back up. So that's kind of my plan. I wanted to make sure I had like a two hour duration hike today. So we'll see what we see along our way. And there were some dogs up at the top of Solar City. And I was aware of them. I've seen them there before. And they actually scared away Lucy and Max. So Lucy and Max went bombing down the hill here. And they're, they're probably already back home by now. Um, I don't hear them wrestling anywhere in the bushes or anything. So um, they knew better than to hang out with or near those dogs. And there's the back of my house. And it's yet another gorgeous day in Koh Samui. And just some beautiful, beautiful views as I go along here. This morning getting in my Friday morning hike. I love this time. This is one of my favorite days of the week. Is when I get to come out here and hike and I love hiking with the group as well, but I also really enjoy my time alone, just being out here in the quiet, hiking at my own pace and, you know, just having some peace to myself. This is a really pretty area up in here. They've been clearing this area, this property. But up in here are all these beautiful palm trees. And I love walking up through here. There's a really steep road. Um, this one veers off up here. You can go left or right, and if you go left, keep heading up. It gets really steep, it's a challenge, boy. I think I'm actually gonna do that part today. I can't believe. This beauty is literally probably about a half mile from my house up and behind my home. It's just so pretty out here. So I am going up here and the video just does not capture how steep that is, but definitely gonna get my cardio in this morning. Almost there. But it's a bit of a warm one this morning too. Ooh. That's a tough one, but look at the gift I get. I finally get to the top. All right. I have reached the top. I took a little breather up here. Now I'm gonna head back down. And I'm not wearing my hiking shoes today because I needed something a little bit more cushiony. Um, my forefoot of my right foot has just been giving me some trouble the last couple of days. It's just really sore. Um, so more cushion today. 
and these shoes that I have on they're not really that rugged on the bottom so I have to be careful with my footing but isn't this gorgeous you guys just gorgeous and so some just some helpful tips about hiking here in Koh Samui um, definitely make sure you know your route um, and what I would do too if you're like me sometimes you come out individually to hike um, you want to make sure that you have scoped out that area with someone else first before you come out by yourself um, because of the dogs and you just don't know what's out there um, I have never had a problem in Thailand I have never felt unsafe in Thailand um, granted I am not the party girl I'm not down in the party areas you know past midnight or something like that in fact I'm in bed most nights by 8 o'clock so I don't know what it's like down there at night um, I was talking to my friend Ray yesterday when we we're having lunch together and he said that you know there are some areas where you would want to definitely not be alone um, but mostly guys it's pretty safe here um, but yeah scope out your area first come out with someone so Dave and I scoped this out together um, before I've come up here by myself and you know there are no dogs up here that I was really leery of um, and there's no like, weird people kicking around like homeless people or anything like that um, I feel rather comfortable um, if you're gonna come out as well expect the unexpected which means bring a hiking pole at you and typically it might be a dog a random dog um, at least you have something to kind of defend yourself or pick up a nice stick maybe along your path and utilize that hold that in your hand um, so that you have something handy and you know another thing too people um, kind of don't realize how much they sweat out here in a short duration of time and it's very humid here you sweat a lot um, electrolyte imbalances happen rather quickly so make sure you know you have hydration with you even if you're coming out for a half hour to an hour hike you really should have at least some water with you um, be prepared okay uh, and then also decent shoes uh, especially if you're coming up here in the hills um, if you're gonna be walking any of these rugged areas going maybe more on trail um, especially in the steeper areas of Koh Samui up in the hills here you're definitely gonna want some hiking shoes um, I typically would not venture out here without mine on um, but like I said today I was familiar with the path and I knew that these shoes would probably be okay um, other tips eat uh, we've had friends that get out here and you start hitting these hills and you're gonna burn through your sugars really quick and if you haven't eaten um, gosh in 12 hours or something you're gonna feel it uh, and people get really sick um, so definitely eat something for breakfast before you come out and it just makes sense that the longer you're gonna be out hiking the more solid of a breakfast you're gonna want to have and bring a snack with you too so when I go out on hikes on Sundays with the crew I know I'm gonna be out there for three and a half four hours maybe even longer so I've always got a, a few snacks in my bag and at least two bottles of water I've had something for breakfast I've hydrated beforehand and I've set myself up for a good day uh, which brings you to the fact that yes yeah, sunblock bug spray put it on before you leave and bring bug spray with you because you go into the shade you're like a mosquito snack um, they come out from everywhere and um, you will get chowed so make sure you put that spray on or lotion on beforehand and then have more on you so you can spray some more on yourself if you need to UV protection sun's really strong here in Samui 
Um, if you're going to be out here for hours, definitely make sure you've done your due diligence and protect your skin. I am notorious for not doing that. Another thing to consider too, you may want to bring like a small towel just so you can wipe the sweat from your brow. If you sweat a lot, like my husband sweats like buckets, his shirt will be soaked. Um, you may even want to bring just a change a shirt for yourself. Um, especially if you're coming out with a group because sometimes people just decide randomly afterwards to go ahead and get some lunch or something together. Um, so you want to kind of have something to change into. You don't want to go into a restaurant all like soaking wet and nasty. Yet another beautiful view between these palm trees and I'm heading down this way. There's one dog down at the base of this road that um, barked at me the other day and kind of came out, out at me a bit. So I'm a little leery, but I, I don't think he's going to give me any trouble. And you know what, honestly, if you're homeless, <laughs> you're not going to want to be away from the action where you can get food, things of that nature. So it's highly unlikely you would even be up here in these hills or, in, you know, where people aren't around really. All right, making my way on down here. The last couple weeks have been rather interesting for me. Um, of course, Dave went back to the States, so I've just been trying to keep myself busy. And I've got a kidney stone, <laughs> of all things. So I've been trying to hydrate really well or get rid of it. And for that reason, I missed the longer hike on Sunday this past weekend because, you know, I've just been having some pain. And I don't really want to be out way up in the hills, um, you know, hiking if I'm having a real issue. And I might actually have to still continue to stick around here this weekend, unfortunately, because I'm still having problems trying to pass this stone. Um, it comes in waves. You know, sometimes I'm completely fine. Other times I'm just like, oh, my God. Um, but it is what it is. I'll just keep doing what I need to do for that and hope for the best. And I've been making some new friends, which I'm stoked about. Um, my belly dancing teacher, she's actually becoming a good friend and um, some of the girls in the belly dancing class were actually meeting up today and we're gonna have a pool day. I'm so excited to go. Um, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a beautiful day for it. And it's at the Maya Resort and her husband is a chef there and I'm looking forward to eating yet more of his fantastic food. And now we're coming down here and there's a, a couple dogs at the bottom here on the right hand side. One of them specifically um, can be a little aggressive. So let's keep my eyes peeled. I'm actually gonna, actually gonna go left and walk out, get a little bit more mileage today. And then I'll come back up through here and continue onward to my house. And as you know, I name the animals around here. So right there, that is Daisy. And I named that one Iris. So Daisy and Iris are usually in this field down here. It's kind of grazing.
there's a French bakery down here um, where I turn to go to my house. And I am gonna stop and pick up some fresh bread and uh, see what selections they have there. So I just got these beautiful baguettes. I mean, they're a nice size and 20 baht a piece. And that is like, what, maybe 70 cents, 60 cents, somewhere around there. Beautiful, I will freeze them because stuff doesn't keep here on the counter because of the humidity. I will freeze them, pull one out occasionally, have it for breakfast nicely toasted with some butter. So good. Okay, everybody, so this is John, and then this is the chicken, and the chicken has no name, <laughs> but they are friends, and they hang out down here together. Sometimes I come down here around the corner, and they're laying in the middle of the road together. It's hysterical. And finally, I am back in my home here, yeah, here, oh my God. What a workout. Yeah, look at this nice baguette. So I'm gonna have this toasted, or half of it toasted with some butter on it. That will be my, kind of my snack. And I am done with my exercise for the day. Woo, that was a rough one. It got really hot towards the end.